It's 11 p.m., which means we're ready to start filming. I'm going to make some coffee. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me, Maddie, again. And Chai. I'm just kidding. What's up, Internet? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to my kitchen. Last time we were here, I made uh, healthy Instagram lunches. You can watch that video over there. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Maddie, and um, yep, that's all that there is to say about that. I forgot, Christine's wearing cat ears, but I don't have any cat ears. But it's okay, because instead, I have hollow mini mouse ears. Can you see the hollow? All right, these are starting to hurt. We're gonna take these off. If you didn't watch last week's video, I followed a nail art tutorial from my favorite YouTuber, Simply Nail Logical, and it went horribly. I'm spilling nail polish everywhere. Christine, help, how do I do this? So this week instead, we're gonna follow another Simply Nail Logical tutorial, but this one's a little more in my wheelhouse. That's right, she did it. After teasing it on her Snapchat for what felt like years, Christine has finally released her Overnight Oats tutorial. If you don't know what Overnight Oats are, Christine explains it in her tutorial. But basically, it's just like fancy oatmeal that's cold. So like, instead of cooking oats in water on a stove, you just put oats and like almond milk and whatever else you want in it and then you put it in the fridge and then overnight the oats absorb all the liquid and goodness and bam, you have a, a beautiful sweet breakfast. I love overnight oats. I had them for breakfast this morning. I have some in my fridge right now. She's ready to go to work with me. So I'm very excited to see if I can make uh, Christine's overnight oats. Now the recipe she uh, tutorialized. Now in her video she makes banana bread overnight oats because her boyfriend Ben loves bananas. So this is his favorite flavor. She didn't choose to share with us her mint chocolate cookies and cream overnight oats. She's keeping that one a secret. I'm not disappointed. It's fine. Live your life, Christine. It's not like mint is my favorite thing too. You know, Christine and I, we share a lot in common. She has two cats. I have two cats. She has a boyfriend named Ben. My boyfriend is Steven. Steven! She used to do nail art. I attempted nail art that one time. She likes to drink tea. I own a teapot. We're basically the same person. All right, let's start making some overnight oats. First, you gotta gather your ingredients. Christine went to Whole Foods, so I'm going to Whole Foods. I bought a cookie. I spent $31 on three things from Whole Foods. Well, technically it was four things because I had that $2 cookie. So $29 on three things. This MCT oil was $16. So I already had quick oats, protein powder, peanut butter powder, both uh, original and with cocoa powder, vanilla extract. Oh, don't look at my nails. Oh God. Oh yeah. My nails are real sad. A very ripe banana and almond milk. From Whole Foods, I got cold milled ground premium flaxseed. Don't know why they had to be cold milled, but they did. MCT oil, maca powder, and cocoa nibs. I just like that they're called nibs. What's the difference between these and normal chocolate chips? Oh, oh. Oh, there is a big difference between cocoa nibs and chocolate chips. All right, let's start cooking. Hi, we're down here now. Alexa, play the Lover album by Taylor Swift.
Okay, here we go. So you're going to take your super rotten banana, plop it in there, and then mush it all up. So I just mushed it and mushed it and mushed it, stirred it all up so it looked like that, added a cup of almond milk, beautiful, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract, nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Then I added a whole tablespoon of my $16 MCT oil. Good stuff there. Got my protein powder. It's vanilla flavored. Took a scoop of that. Yeah, I don't really love protein powder, but whatever. And then I needed two scoops of this peanut butter powder and my scooper did not fit, but it's okay. I just, uh, scooped some into this scoop. Huzzah! Look at that. Intervention right there. All in all, this ended up being like two and a half to three tablespoons of peanut butter powder because I did two scoops of peanut butter. Then we're going to add our maca powder, which smelled odd, but uh, added a teaspoon of it anyway. There it goes. Isn't this so cute look at my little salt and pepper shaker salt is the world and he sits in a space chair of pepper oh so cute a little dash of salt there and then i had some trouble closing my container because the dishwasher has warped it but i got it eventually and shook it yay shake it up and uh drip it all over the counter that's great now stir it because you couldn't shake it that hard just stirring it all up and Christine said it would look disgusting and guess what it sure did we're adding one cup of oats here that's a third of a cup so I did it three times I'm stirring that all up and then my camera died so we have different lighting now stirring it all up and then top it with a few more oats because that's what Christine said to do Stir it all up. This is our flaxseed. Two tablespoons of flaxseed going in. And then we're going to do three tablespoons of our cocoa nibs. Which uh, are very bitter. But I liked the nibs. And then I stirred it for hours and hours and hours. And it looked like that. But I added a little bit more almond milk because I like more of a liquidy overnight oats than super super thick like Christine likes it you got to taste test it and I liked it at first but then it kind of tasted bitter from the nibs and uh, that was it we were ready to go and there you have it Bay's banana bread overnight oats Woo! Oh. Aww. Mm -hmm. so just for kicks and giggles I'm gonna make my own version of banana bread overnight oats and I'm just gonna use the ingredients that I already had and instead of using my regular peanut butter powder I'm gonna use cocoa powder uh, Christine mentions that cocoa powder would be good in this too so they'll be like chocolate banana oats which is basically what I make every day for breakfast anyway surprised when I watched her video and it had like flaxseed and MCT oil and all this like fancy health food stuff which is great and all I just I felt like a fish out of water in Whole Foods like I found most of the supplies in the whole body section and I never knew there were that many different types of powder I don't know it's just not really my MO to buy $18 MCT coconut oil but you know to each their own like it's probably better to invest your money in your health and like in what foods you're putting in your body instead of on cheap clothes or other dumb stuff that I buy. Like $31 could buy me at least 15 things from Shein and probably none of them would be quality but here we are. You know when I'm more financially stable maybe that's something I'll look into is like actually buying my produce organic like my mom tells me to. So in this end we just have oats, almond milk, vanilla extract, and chocolate peanut butter powder. Oh and a mushed up ripe banana. 
Mine is good, but it needs a little something extra. All right, we're gonna put these two bad boys in the fridge and let them cook overnight and do a taste test in the morning. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. It's a new day, a new mug of coffee. It's 11.14 a.m., meaning it's been 12 hours since we started this endeavor. And yes, I slept in this shirt. I'm hungry, let's have some oats. Dun 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 Got him. Chai's licking my toes. Ooh, there's my oats, yum. And here we have it. Christine's oats. Wow. Let's try it. The first spoon is the deepest. Baby, I know. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, it's really good. It is uncanny how much this tastes like banana bread. I can't taste any of like the weird protein powder aftertaste that I don't like. Can't taste that at all. The cocoa nibs, which were so bitter yesterday on their own, they taste great in here now. They're not like too sweet. It's just like a hint of chocolate. Damn, this is really good. It tastes like banana bread. It tastes like bread. Christine was on to something with that health food stuff. Okay, now we're gonna try mine. I mean, mine are good, don't get me wrong. They taste really sweet and chocolatey. They're nowhere near as good as Christine's. I was worried that Christine's would not be sweet enough, but it's fine. I didn't need to add sweetener or anything. Honestly, mine just tastes a little bland, whereas this one tastes like richer. I'm gonna claim Simply Nail Logicals is the winner, but I'm also gonna say that I too am a winner because I made good overnight oats. I guess I do make oats better than I paint nails. I think I'll definitely make these again. It was not hard at all. It was actually really nice and relaxing to make them. And maybe I'll incorporate some of that uh, whole foods food into some other recipes. Definitely the flax seed. I liked the flax seed a lot. Look, I got my nails done. All right, it's the purple container and the green one under it. Which one's yours? I'll tell you after you've tasted oh, them. Oh, I have to try them both. Okay, cool. Smart. These look like crap. You look like grow up. This looks a little less barfy. Do you want me to tell you the flavors? No. This might not make any sense, but it tastes like I just took a shot of alcohol. <laughs> That's way better. <gasps> really? Like 10,000 times better. Really? Yeah, these are yours? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, these are, these are horrifying. I I preferred this one. You're insane. These are, I'm, I'll try again. Maybe I got a bad bite. But this Do you, let me tell you the flavor. It's, okay. it's supposed to be banana bread flavored. That's why it tastes like alcohol, because it's supposed to taste like bread. That bite was a little bit better than the first time. This is so much better. Like, I, like, I don't like mine. I really? Like, I like Christine's better. I'll eat all of it. <laughs> they should make your oats. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment if you want to see me follow another YouTuber's tutorial. I uh, I really liked doing this nail art and the overnight oats. And I want to I wanna branch out and try uh, other tutorials by other YouTubers. I'm kind of feeling a, a Kaylee Melissa hairstyles one next. So uh, comment down below if you'd like to see that and which one you would like to see me do. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and maybe I'll make another one. And if you subscribe, you have to hit the bell next to the subscribe so that you get notified when I post a video. Okay, bye. Squirrel is the Xyler and Chai is the Menchie. You don't wanna be on camera, do you, Squirrel? Her name is Earl, but I call her Squirrel. Get it, Chai and Earl? They're my kit teas. See, I like tea. I just prefer coffee more. <laughs> okay, bye. Mm -hmm.